Here's my problem. They shouldn't include this piece in a 5 plus Lego set. Hello LEGO fans, today we are taking a look at the LEGO City Mobile Police Dog Training Set. It comes with 197 pieces and retails for roughly 1,400 pesos. Let's take a closer look. This set comes with a vehicle, a trailer, a training ground set, two minifigs, and two dog figures. First, let's take a look at this park. My first impression is that this looks a little cramped. There is not enough space to just let the individual features breathe. But considering that this is a 5 plus set and a relatively cheaper kit, I can understand this level of compression. There are three main activities here. First is this agility training seesaw. They are supposed to climb up here and wait for the plank to go down before they proceed to the next activity. Then with that conquered, they have to go up these increasingly taller orange platforms. The last obstacle here is this high jump bar. They have to clear this jump without knocking over the bar. But I wish that this piece locked into place somehow. It is actually quite easy to accidentally knock off and just moving it around. It also never stays in place. There we go. Other ornaments in this park include this large green tree in the middle. It's one big piece and you can adjust it freely on the mount. There is a nice flower piece here, and it won't be a dog park without a loose poop on the ground. Thankfully, this set comes with a shovel for picking up dog poop. Let's take a look at the minifigs now. Now, which of these officers get to pick up the poop? Unfortunately, that task befalls our lucky female officer, the only one who has hands to carry the shovel. If she had an angry alternate faceplate, I would put that on right now, but she doesn't have any alternate faceplate at all. She has a nice single molded headpiece with cap in hair. She also has safety glasses on. The torso prints have an excellent amount of detail, nice shiny badge and belt. My favorite part has got to be this two-way radio headset connected to her actual radio unit on her belt, but at the back print. Police written on the back and some utility pockets here. The second officer is the designated target to be taken down by the dogs as evidenced by his suit. Custom mold arms with no hands on the end. He uses this as an excuse to not pick up the dog poop. Hmm. The torso print has nice vertical lines and a police logo. The same lines are present on the back. If you remove his helmet, you can see the face he makes when the police dog gnaws on his leg. He also comes with a hairpiece for when he is off duty. But unfortunately, there is no second pair of arms so he gets to go home to his wife like this. Now we get to my favorite part of this kit, the dogs. Here is the main police dog. He seems to be a German Shepherd or a Belgian Malinois. His tail is down so he may be a little anxious during today's training. He comes with a blue harness for easier handling. This is a lot better than a collar. And here is a puppy that seems a little too young for real police dog training, but definitely here to provide moral support to everyone. And they give you this setup, two bowls and some suggestion of dog food, a bone but no water. You shouldn't be giving dogs random bones. It can be incredibly dangerous for them and even fatal. Here's my problem. They shouldn't include this piece in a 5 plus set. Kids might get the wrong idea that it's okay to give bones to dogs and it's not. And don't get me started on popular media that still does this. Anyway, we can easily fix this in this kit. They actually include a third bowl and a transparent blue stud. And voila, water bowl. Crisis averted. Next, let's look at the police SUV. It is a six wide vehicle that has a surprising amount of detail. Up front is this bumper piece with a clever use of the gear rack piece as a suggestion for the grills of a car. These are trans blue modified plates which act as headlights. Some blue pieces here perhaps meant to indicate a fog light but I don't know why it's blue. This top part is actually a large sticker which was easy enough to apply. Some trans blue pieces here as a suggestion for the glass on the car. This text here that says police is a print and it appears on the other side as well. Two trans blue pieces here on top to simulate police lighting though some trans red would have also been welcome. There are minifig accessory holders on both sides of the vehicle. One of them carries a flashlight, and the other is a shovel for shoveling dog poop. 
This back part lifts up to reveal a roomy trunk that you can drop more accessories into. On the back of the SUV is a folding tailgate and trans red grille pieces for the taillights. And here is the trailer that attaches via ball joint to the SUV. And it comes with a dog grooming brush. The trailer here is actually quite spacious with a folding tailgate like the SUV. They meant it when they titled this set Mobile Police Dog Training. And that means you can grab all the obstacles you put down on the course and drive away with them on this trailer. And if you like this review, please consider subscribing to this channel. There will be more LEGO City and other LEGO content coming, so please stick around.